doing, crack? I forgot about the beer. You want some? How about some ether? What? Never mind. Reddit is a cesspit of people spouting the same takes about the same topics. But if you really dig, there's definitely some good stuff that will probably be banned within a few months of you discovering it. In this sense, Reddit is bad. And you know what else is bad? Drugs. So what if you combine these two bad things? Well, you get bad stuff. Welcome to Drug Reddits, a comprehensive guide to the users of Reddit. So let's start this off on the main hub for drugs on Reddit. Fittingly, r slash drugs. This subreddit was created as a place where people could openly discuss their usage in a judgment-free zone. It was essentially the planet fitness of usage because anybody could go there for advice, tips, questions, or even stories. But like planet fitness, once you get big enough, you gotta split off into a more specific area. The problem with r slash drugs is the posts were very repetitive. On one hand, it had people telling other people to get help with their habits and addictions. On the other hand, people were making lists of every Everything they'd done to flex on other people, with replies usually consisting of more recommendations for their habit, calling them a pussy for not doing more, or telling them to get help. Keep in mind, this was not a joke subreddit. These posts are not ironic. It got so oversaturated that they split off into different groups. This is where we get all types of drug reddits. So let's begin, starting off with everybody's favorite, the most noxious <laughs> and obnoxious community r slash trees r slash trees is a subreddit for the devil's lettuce aka mary jane aka weed and in its early days it started off as a place for people to share their stories experiences and opinions on weed and it was strictly an educational sub no jokes or memes allowed within reason this led to a massive influx of awful posts like this alcohol bad weed good why weed no legal whether people agreed with these takes or not seeing them being parroted for free karma and zero effort, it made the subreddit pretty disliked. Basically, any argument that had been made a million times by a million people would be posted almost daily and universally upvoted. And the users seemed to be the equivalent of people who started smoking when they were in their late 20s, and that's all they fucking talk about. And he turns to the clerk and says to him, my girlfriend just had an operation. She can only eat certain things. I look at him. I look at him and I go, yeah, right. What, did she have a bong hit transplant? People talking about weed like it's the greatest substance of all time has zero repercussions and everybody should try it. The classic Reddit move of pretending like you know everything about everyone's life and what's best for them. Especially when that fix is to do nothing but consume drugs. And if you point out that, hey, like anything, weed can be addictive. Now, at the end of the day, weed is pretty harmless. But as we start to go down the compendium, you'll see this attitude kind of remains the same for more harmful substances. Speaking of which... r slash lsd was basically the r slash atheism of drug reddit somehow worse than r slash trees people talking about how much more enlightened they were than everybody else because they've dropped acid talking down on people who used any other substances as a slave to big pharma this includes life-saving prescription medicines it was a place for people to share their incredible deep thoughts like guys what if everybody did this maybe the world would be a better place Ooh, that's deep. The same way r slash trees would circle jerk about legalization of weed, LSD would circle jerk about how LSD could cure everything and anything. People would share stories about how trips changed their lives, which would be amazing if they didn't return back to their basement dwelling ways after the experience wears off. Some other highlights included people posting random pictures of psychedelic art and recommending acid to minors. Very insightful stuff. Another sub that got really jerky was r slash kratom. For those of you who don't know, Kratom is a plant-based opiate from Indonesia, and it's been kind of the hot new drug lately. The general use of it comes from those withdrawing from opiates trying to wean themselves off of them. It's also used in pain relief, but most importantly, 
it can get you high as fuck. I actually talked with a self-reported Kratom user who says that while Kratom may have some benefits for opium withdrawal, it's mostly addicts in denial who are swearing by it. It's this honest attitude we'll get into a little bit later. There are some side effects from it and it's far from being proven safe and effective, but don't tell Reddit that. They, much like r slash trees, marketed this as some sort of miracle product that could cure everything. Any criticisms of Kratom would result in instant downvotes, thus adding another sub to this circle jerk category. Now these subs got so circle jerky about substances that people got a bit fed up. People could only take so many, dude weed, LSD saved me, my parents got mad at me for smoking, and why plant illegal but pill not posts that they created their own circle jerk to circle jerk about the circle jerk drugs circle jerk was the name of the subreddit i've said that word way too many fucking times a parody community where memes were not only encouraged but were made mandatory it started off as a place to vent about how low quality these subs had gotten for example how a 16 year old smoking is not front page news and a few ironic jokes here and there it slowly evolved into a nice little community with their own in jokes like the aforementioned dude weed and just do meth, pussy. They also became known for these amazing stories like, I just snorted my grandmother's ashes because she was a heavy junkie. And I'm only 15 and I boofed an entire vial of acid with my friends. I am more enlightened than you. They would constantly rip on other drug reddits, especially the ones that took themselves too seriously, like the ones mentioned earlier. And because these other drug reddits took themselves so seriously, they became easy targets to mess with. People started calling out Drug Circle Jerk for spreading misinformation through memes. And it's like, yeah, exactly. That's the joke. They became public enemy number one of drug reddits. But... They may have done more for addiction than these proper drug reddits could have ever done. After talking with a few users on Drug Circle Jerk, they claim that it's a safe space to talk about addictions. Through memes, fake stories, and jokes, many users have been able to share coping mechanisms to help get themselves clean. These subs can offer genuine first-hand advice to people struggling with addiction. People who have actually experienced things like this, as opposed to people on their high horse saying stuff like, just quit, bro. It's not addictive anyway. Ironically, Drug Circle Jerk has become more of a drug safe space than r slash drugs. Getting advice from former addicts has shown to be way more effective than Redditors who think they know everything about everything. But let's give the embarrassing drug Reddits some credit. By making drugs not cool, they've turned more people away from addiction than they realize. There's something annoying about somebody who can't admit they have a problem. And not only that, but acting like their problem is really a solution and you're the idiot for not realizing it. In a way, it would almost be better if they just said, fuck it, this is bad for me, but I don't care. Or hell, even if they were able to just acknowledge the negative potential, but counter that with talking about the benefits of these drugs, I think they would have a better rep. So Drugs Circle Jerk is giving ironic advice, like I did meth and murdered a family of five. Thanks, Reddit. I thought this would be a good place to end the video. But while researching this video, I came across some of the most degenerate communities on Reddit that may or may not put the previous ones to shame. These were originally gonna be in that video, but I decided they deserve their own. Let's go to the deepest level of the drug Reddit iceberg. Unlike trees or LSD, these people aren't pretending it's good. In fact, they're well aware that it's fucking awful. They know it's gonna ruin their life and they should get off it, but they can't. Remember all of those jokes, circle jerk posts? Well, the people on these drug reddits are doing them for real. These people can't be circle jerked because they out jerk anyone who tries. R slash meth r slash heroin and many 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 more but at a certain point it goes from laughing at these people to being a little bit concerned on one hand it's funny because these people are completely unapologetic with who they are on the other hand some of these stories are pretty tragic however one of the positive things about these hardcore drug reddits is that they also seem to be there to help people deal with addiction if you look at some of the top posts a lot of them are about getting clean and they're being celebrated for it whereas on r slash trees or any of the other ones mentioned if you celebrated getting clean from any of those, you'd be downvoted into oblivion. Now, Drug Circle Jerk and all these other hardcore drug reddits are in a battle for who can outjerk the other. There is one I haven't mentioned yet that doesn't really fall into any category I've mentioned in this video. Now, in terms of drug reddits, I've saved the best for last, and that is r slash dph. Now, you might be saying to yourself, what is dph? I didn't know what dph was until I started researching this video. Basically, what it is is Benadryl the allergy medication. You're saying, but I can just buy that at a pharmacy. Correct, but if you take 
shitloads of Benadryl, it becomes a psychedelic. But not a normal psychedelic. A psychedelic that probably goes something like... It's hard to tell if the memes that come out of DPH are ironic or not, but I think they kind of speak for themselves. In conclusion, I don't know if people should use drugs. I really think it's dependent on the person. Some people will say, no, I don't want to do anything. Some people will say, I want to try everything. And some people are in the middle. I know it's corny, but I think you got to do whatever you're comfortable with and you got to be safe about it. And on that note, I'll say, live fast, boof kratom, reject cannabis, and praise fentanyl. Close my eyes.